Hi, my name is Kira. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, I wanted to go ahead and just talk about a few items that um, I used to wear all the time. It used to be like a very much so reoccurring thing in my wardrobe and like that I would style on my Instagram. If you scroll all the way to the bottom or like close to the bottom, you could start to see where I started posting more fashion content and stuff of that nature. And there were certain core pieces that I would wear and style all the time or just post all the time. And I was recently kind of going through looking because I'm constantly looking for new inspiration, constantly restyling things that I have, as you probably realized. Today, I'm styling pieces that I have not worn or have not styled in a decent amount of time maybe like a couple weeks or so maybe like a month maybe some items there's no particular reason why I just haven't styled it I just haven't styled it so we're gonna start I think I have oh my god I don't actually know how many outfits that is give me a second I think I have seven outfits so the first item that I wanted to style in a different way that I feel like I haven't really shown in a while is this skirt this skirt, I thrifted it, um, originally I believe you can see um, and hear me talk about this piece more in my first video I think I posted that you'll see on this channel um, because I've unlisted all the other ones. <laughs> I thrifted this piece um, like a couple months back here and it's not that I don't like this piece. I think the reason that I kind of got into a bit of a style rut with actually wearing it is because the material is quite thick and I as you can probably tell, only really wear black. So when it comes to wearing patterned items like this that do have little bits of color and stuff in there, I wind up feeling like I am styling it in the same sort of way every single time. So for this particular piece, I wanted to kind of go outside the box and instead of just pairing it with another black item, I figured I would pair it with this gray. I, I paired it with this gray turtleneck shirt that I got years ago years years ago from I believe let me find this tag I think it's from Forever 21 yeah this is from Forever 21 it's a simple ribbed long sleeve uh, turtleneck that's actually full length it's not cropped I know it's amazing my abdomen is not showing because I stay having that that girl out she just be out of here all the time um and I feel like that gave me a new kind of way to kind of wear it because the colors do kind of go together. There's a little bit of gray that lines up perfectly with this um, turtleneck with this skirt. It does make the outfit a little bit lighter than I'm normally used to, but it doesn't make it so crazy light that I don't feel like myself in it. You know what I mean? And much like the first skirt, it is this skirt with pockets <laughs> from Forever 21. This, as you could probably tell in this lighting, I think this shows it a lot better than the first video when I first showcased this piece, has no black in it. This is just, it, the darkest color here is that navy blue with, it's got pokes of like marigold orange, dark red. It's beautiful. It's like, gives you that cool preppy old school type of vibe. I like it. And with the pockets and it being a score, I think really modernizes it and brings it to another level. I like this item. But, much like the previous one, because of the colors and stuff in here, I felt like I was constantly styling it the same way. It is a mock neck sleeveless, but it's like a long, like, sleeveless on the side uh, shirt. It's like a full length. I've tucked it into the skirt here to kind of, like, cinch in my waist a little bit. This is a little bit different, though it's still black, because, again, most of my clothing items are black. These on top of each other, this being, like, a sleeveless mock neck shirt, I think gives it kind of like a cool punk type of vibe to the whole outfit and it's different than just wearing like a t-shirt. The next piece is this kind of vinyl pattern but it's like a crunch pattern kind of material. This skirt, did I thrift this? I think I thrifted this like years ago. Um, this originally is from H&M but I, I believe I thrifted it from like a Plato's Closet. Um, around here it's cute I like this skirt I my weight has been fluctuating but anyway suffice to say this was an item that um, for a period of time recently I wasn't able to fit like it was just slightly too big in the waist for me um, I've gone I don't know what happened but I now am able to fit it again <laughs> I'm able to fit it again and it fits nice and I still love this skirt so I wanted to make sure that I tried to style it um, and actually see if I wanted to keep this piece and so for this look I styled it in a way that I've kind of done before but just kind of brought me back a little bit 
So I styled it with this long sleeve cropped um, shirt. I um, layered it underneath My Chemical Romance. I have other My Chemical Romance shirts, but you wouldn't know because I only ever seemed to reach for this one. I don't know. Couldn't tell you why. Um, but so I styled it with this underneath the sleeves and stuff. I like the look of stripes and long sleeves under band tees. I think it looks punk as hell. I don't know. Ooh, I shouldn't say hell. Punk as heck. <laughs> this look that um, I styled was going to be based around this skirt that I got, I think back in March. This is a striped mini skirt with an O-ring zip up in the front. The material's like really nice. It's not in the way it's stretchy, but it's like stretchy. You know what I mean? It's really cute. I like this skirt. I don't fully remember what attracted me to this skirt. Like why I was like, well, won't it? I just think it looks so cool. The material's really nice too. I got this from Shein. I styled this striped skirt with this um, long sleeved, what kind of material is this? It's not really ribbed. It's out, also not very thick. I got it years ago at Charlotte Roos. It's only in a size large. That's why it's baggy on me. I thought it was just made to be baggy. Oops. <laughs> But uh, it's kind of baggy, which I liked to kind of counteract how bodycon this skirt goes. I styled it with that to kind of like bring a little bit of casual nature to the skirt. So the next piece I wanted to style, believe it or not, is one of um, is an item that I actually have not worn outside my house. I've worn it a few times inside my house, but I haven't really had a chance or reason to wear these outside my house. So they've been in the kitchen, the living room, my bedroom. And on the gram. I have taken photos of these. I have styled these um, numerous times and I really really like them. I think they look so cool but they're a little big. A little or I think it's just me and my weight again but like they're a little big. I almost kind of wish that I would have gotten them at a small but at the time when I got them a medium fit really good. So to kind of tone them down a little bit though this is going to look very similar to another piece. I swear they're different okay. This is <laughs> another striped cropped Tiered this on top with this because these are a little high-waisted so a little bit of my abdomen is showing but not so much that it's like oh she's clearly wearing a crop top it just looks you know a little peak here a little peak but I like these on top of each other I think I believe I also put my jean jacket on top which I'm going to show you now this is also a piece that I hadn't really been wearing until recently when I customized it by adding my pins onto it i love these these really made this jean jacket like way more fun for me to wear i've been trying to throw this on literally anytime the wind is blowing outside no matter when it's kind of cold or where i'm going i've been wearing it to like work at night and stuff because i just enjoy this jacket it automatically makes me feel so cool <laughs> So I threw this on top with the striped shirt and the vinyl pants to kind of add even more of like a casual air to it. I feel like because this is a jean jacket and it's a little oversized on me, I think it made it way more toned down. The next item that I really wanted to style that I used to wear like all the time on my Instagram was this jean skirt. I did have a different top in mind when I originally went to go ahead and try this outfit on. And it was going to be originally going to style it with this shirt, which is just a mock neck baby tee. This isn't cropped, but it's like not the full length either. It's like, oh, you can't see it here, but it's not the full length. I was originally going to style it with this, which I still think would be cute and I would still totally wear that. Um, but instead, I, have, I was changing outfits because I did film the whole trying outfit on thing all in one day. No lie. I'm not going to beat around the bush about it. I really liked how this striped crop top fit on top of this um, high-waisted like denim skirt because this skirt is very like it body like bodycon kind of it like stretches and fits me in a way that's like really comfortable I feel like it accentuates my hips and everything it makes me look very like curvy I don't really think I am but it makes me look like I am so I'm into it I like the shoes that I paired with it they're like platform like heels which I believe I got years ago from like rainbow for like my sophomore homecoming or something like that but this skirt i originally got it from like hot topic years and years ago and i love it i love wearing it it's so cute and it makes it's just i don't know though it's like a kind of a basic piece the rips in it and like the color and how it fits onto me i think makes it a little bit more interesting interesting and different it's these jeans that i got 
think two years ago from Hot Topic. You probably can't get these anymore anyway. They're these like mid-rise, it says, but not fully mid-rise. They're like quarter-rise <laughs> jeans that are fully studded with stars and little round button things on them all the way down and they got ripped spray things in the knees and they're frayed at the bottom which i like them i think they're cool i think i've only ever showed these once on my instagram and i just never showed them again and it's because they're a little they're not loud they're just different because they've got the sun details on them and they're not fully black as you can even tell paired up against my turtleneck here these are more of like a faded black gray type of denim different and so i paired it with this silk cami um shirt that i got from shein like months ago it's got an eyelet lace across the top um lined up i like this the it is fully like it can be backless as you can see you probably can't see it in the outfit try on because i have a jean jacket layered on top of it and it's the jean jacket oh my god <laughs> did i just wipe my face off <laughs> but it's the jean jacket with all these pins on it i've been having a blast wearing this jacket anyway so i enjoyed putting it with this outfit together it looks like i put way more effort into this whole outfit than i did um it just kind of gives it like an interesting vibe to it because normally anytime i would want to wear these pants i would think i'm gonna put a band tee on which band tees are great and that's why they're staples because you could wear them in so many different ways but i feel more too often i like start relying on just wearing band tees and they're cute, but I can't wear a band tee every day, all the time. Some people may argue with me about that, but for me personally, I like variety in my in my wardrobe choices. Last piece that I wanted to go ahead and style for this video here that you're seeing is going to be a piece that I'm a little on the fence about if I want to keep, and it's not because I don't like it, it's because I do, but it does not quite fit me, and that's what really keeps me from wanting to wear this piece all the time. It's this checkered um, skirt. It's kind of high-waisted. I got this from Shein months ago. I thought it was really cute. I like the O-ring zipper on it. I like the pattern. I, the material is pretty okay. And there's like full, like, that's a full pocket. I could put my whole phone in there. Um, and I like it. I like the whole pattern. I like the uh, checkered. I think it looks so cool. It's like a, a design element that I'm really into. I think it's different and I would love a whole outfit in checkered to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit me. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the this part, the waist part, just doesn't fit me at the top of where it's supposed to fit. You can maybe kind of tell in the video that I'm showing right now. Um, but over my hips it fits pretty well. I paired it with this loose mesh t-shirt top that I thrifted um, a couple months back. It's originally from Rue 21, but it's just like a t-shirt and it's fully see-through because it's mesh. And then underneath that, I um, wore this, which is like a bustier bralette type of situation. Because this mesh t-shirt is a little bit um, baggy on me, I felt like that would kind of balance all the fact that this skirt kind of doesn't fit me in the waist the way I want it to, but it still doesn't fit. So I'm kind of debating upon if I want to put this on my Depop or not. I might. I genuinely might because, again, I, it's not that I don't like this item. It's just a little too big. And that's one of the reasons that keeps me from wanting to wear it. If this fit me the way that I wanted it to fit me, I would probably wear this all the time. That's the final item that I wanted to style for today's video to show you um, different items that I just haven't worn in a while and like kind of reasons and kind of how to combat some of the reasons that I have for why I just don't style things that are in my closet and in my wardrobe or whatever. Um, if you're stumped on an item that you have, I totally challenge you to kind of go through your closet, find new ways to wear it. Maybe, maybe you're just bored of the way that you always wear it. Maybe you wear the same pair of jeans with the same kind of shirt that you own every single time. Maybe try putting it with a different top. Maybe put it with a different pair of shoes. Shoes could totally change the whole vibe of an entire outfit. Don't get rude. And do that with like everything in your life before just immediately going out and buying something new because sometimes you don't need anything new. You just need to look at things in a different way and from a different perspective. So thank you guys for coming and watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you liked any outfits. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Um, let me know if there's an item that you have that you're having an issue with styling or like feeling creatively stumped by trying to wear or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let me know. Talk to me like the video, I don't know. 
<laughs> if you want to see more of me and see more of my content, I'm like way more active on my Instagram. I post every single day. If you want to follow me, my at is at ugh, U-G-H dot Kiera, K-E-R-R-I-A. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I hope to see you soon somewhere on the internet. Until then, take care. Have a good one.